everyone, welcome to Room 120 News, your place to find out everything that's going on in our school and in our classroom this week. I hope that you are enjoying this beautiful, beautiful Sunday. The weather is so nice. It's finally feeling like spring. There was a brief moment there where I was like, oh, we're headed back to winter, but it finally uh, feels like spring. It's so beautiful. The sun is out. The birds are chirping, and I hope that you are just enjoying this um, time with your family. Um, please be sure that you're checking your child's folder nightly and signing their homework contract, um, as that is going to be the best way to keep you up to date with all the things that are happening in our school and in our classroom. Um, please also remember to complete the Reading Fluency homework nightly with your child. Um, it is a four-night challenge, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. They get collected on Friday. If your child is able to complete all of the um, days, then they are paid through our class economy. Um, please be sure to sign the report card attestation form and third nine weeks family survey. Um, that is a uh, link was sent to you on Friday with that. It was a QR code on the report card, and I will also attach it to the email um, that this link was in. So just please be sure to fill that out tonight if you haven't already. Um, I really do value your feedback, um, and I um, just need the attestation that you've seen the report card as well. Just a reminder that this Tuesday, April the 16th, from 1 to 2 o'clock in the afternoon, is our parent event to cultivate our flat Stanley project. You are not going to want to miss this. It is going to be absolutely amazing. Um, all of our classes, school-wide, have been working so, so hard on... Um, on this project and I, there's just so many cool things that are going to happen so you're not going to want to miss it um there's going to be some time that you're in the classroom and your child is going to teach the teach you all that they've learned about asia and then there's going to be a time where there's going to be a school-wide parade where you will be able to see all of the things that the entire school has learned um through the flat stanley project so you are not going to want to miss it it is this tuesday april the 16th from one to two um also, mark your calendar for this coming Thursday um, from 5.30 to 8 at Holly Shelter Middle School. We're having our second annual um, Castle Hain Talent Show. There is some really, really cool acts this year. Um, like I mentioned last week, none from our class, but it would be a really fun thing if you were looking for something to do um, with your family this coming Thursday night. It's to come out to our talent show and see all of the awesome talent that our school and our students have to offer. Also on that date, Thursday, April the 18th, we are taking class pictures. Um, like I mentioned last week, there was a little hiccup when we did spring pictures, which is we normally do class pictures and spring pictures together. There was a little bit of hiccup with the election being the day before, so we're having to do class pictures this coming Thursday. So just please make sure that your child is on at school um, that day and um, dressed uh, for another photo um, as we are going to be taking class photos that day. Up next is looking ahead where you will hear all the things that are going to happen in the future of our school and in our classroom. Start reviewing your calendars for the week of April the 29th through May the 3rd. That is going to be our spring parent-teacher conference dates. Um, so go ahead and look at your calendar kind of figure out what afternoons may work best for you uh, I'll have some 1230 um, to about 1 30 ish spots open a couple days and then I'll have some afternoon um, dates and then some really like evening more evening set dates um, a part of that week as well so just look at your calendar start thinking about that the sign up will be coming out very very soon um, for you to officially sign up for those up next is Curriculum Corner, where you will hear all the things that are going to happen in the future. Or, I'm sorry, where you're going to hear all the things that your child is going to learn in the classroom this week. In math, we're continuing with Unit 5 of our Eureka Math Curriculum. Um, students are finishing up money and counting money and solving problems with money. And then we'll be starting measurement towards the end of the week. So we will be talking about inches, feet, and yards this go around. We talked about customary units at the beginning of the year. And now we're going to be looking at, or I'm sorry, we were talking about metric, the metric system at the beginning of the year with centimeters and meters. Um, and now we will be talking about um, the customary units, which are inches, feet, and yards. And so students will be learning about how to measure things in those units, estimate in those units, and also compare those to the units of the metric system. 
in foundations. It completely depends on what group your child is in in foundations. So please be sure to check the newsletter that the second grade team puts out for you. And you just saw my dog come through the doggy door. So that's a fun little treat for you today. Um, and then in reading, we're finishing up. And I think he's about to come back through. So get ready. All right. There he goes. Um, and here comes the other one. Maybe. I don't know. Oh, here he is right here. Um, so in reading, we're finishing up our Asia and Japan unit um, on Monday and Tuesday. Um, and then we're going to be starting our last unit in Wit and Wisdom, which is going to be focused on the importance of healthy eating. So students will be learning about foods that are good for their bodies and what those foods actually provide. Um, and so that's going to be a really, really fun time, um, I think, in our classroom. And then in science, we're continuing weather. We're finishing up how the sun provides energy for our um, earth and provides, um, it also changes the seasons and changes the weather. And then we are going to be um, moving into weather tools and what meteorologists use to measure the temperature, air pressure, and wind speed. So that should be really, really fun. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Room 120 News. I hope that you have a fantastic week ahead. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to reach out to me. If not, we'll see you right back here next week for another episode of Room 120 News.